Welcome everyone back to Stella Zone. Uh, I'm your co-host Steven. Not Steven Zone, it's still Stella Zone, okay? So today we're going to be experimenting, trying something new. We just got a new smoker, so we're going to make classic smoked chicken with uh, Stella Zone spice. And uh, I'm just going to show you how we're going to cut up the chicken and prepare it. Alright, so we're starting by spatch cooking this chicken. So we're going to basically cut off the backbone. I've never done this, so hopefully I do it right. Sharpen these. Alright, so uh, looks like we got that done pretty well there. That's so it's still not opening all the way. It needs to go perfectly flat, so we have to cook cut right here where this uh need a sharp knife and I'll do that and cut this little piece so we could fold it open. Pause it. Alright, so just gonna make a small cut in here with a sharp knife. We should be able to just pull it until it pops. There we go. And so now this will lay flat. You can see here, flatten it out. Well, it's in a bowl, so it's not looking super flat. But anyway, now we can add our marinade, our seasoning on top, and get it ready for smoking. All right, so now we're going to uh, prep this chicken a bit more. We're going to do lime juice and salt just to kind of cleanse the outside here. So we're just going to do a bit of juice. Even take a little bit of salt. Just rub that, dab it in there. Other side, more lim lime or lemon, depending on where you're from. All right, continue our salt pat. So we're gonna let this sit with the juice and the salt on it for about an hour. And then we're gonna rinse it off and do the marinade. And we're back. We got our chicken all out of the fridge after soaking for an hour in the lime and the salt. We rinsed it off, patted it dry again. You can see the skin has come off a little bit there, but this is all just good. We're gonna now make our marinade, which is consisting of orange juice and this concoction of peppers, three different kinds of peppers, a whole clove of garlic, and a few other things that we'll list in the description. Stella blended this up earlier. We're also going to have some Badia Complete Seasoning. So I'm going to start by doing this just a little bit at a time. So we're going to do a little bit of this to start. Just a couple of spoonfuls. Okay. Get it going there. And then we're going to add in some of our Badia Complete. All right. And some orange juice. And if we need to dilute it a little more, we'll add in some extra oil. No, I'll do that right now. Add in a little bit extra of our avocado oil. All right, just to make this nice. Okay, let's try that again with some gloves now. Gloves aren't just good for all things in the age of coronavirus, but they're also good when you're handling lots of spices in the sauce that you're gonna to be touching with your hands onto some chicken. So I got it all mixed in. We're gonna start putting this on the chicken. Okay, get that all over. Make sure we have enough to coat it very well. Get it all inside. So basically the point of what we were doing before is uh, allowing the salt and the lime to brine the chicken, which is kind of softening up the tissue, kind of tenderizing it, and getting it ready to absorb this wonderful uh, marinade here. So. Now this is going to open up the pores, so to speak, of the chicken, <laughs> the dead chicken, to be able to absorb this marinade. All right, we need to make some more for the back here. All right. Now with marinades, you could be uh, very generous. Don't worry about putting too much on in there because uh, it's only going to absorb what it's going to absorb. The rest is just kind of there just in case. So it also helps to make a nice seal, lock in all the juices. That's what we want. That's why we have the oil in there. You could also use the, uh, you know, butter, melted butter, mixing your seasonings in that way. But uh, avocado is a nice alternative, easy and readily available, hopefully. 
wherever you are. So I'm going to get some in the cavities here. Put this back over. Again, get it nice and good in there. Get it in all the pockets, all the crevices. Make sure that we're getting as much of this onto this chicken as we can. All right, looks pretty good. Now we're just going to let this sit overnight and we're going to start smoking this thing in the afternoon. Can't wait. Welcome back to Stella Zone. We're uh, going to start our smoking process for the chicken. Let me show you what we're working with. Here's our grill. Recently got this used. We have our temperature at 276, 275 about is where we want it. And we're going to put our chicken that we had marinate overnight. Have it right in here. And we're putting this on the rack and letting it go till the interior gets to 165 Fahrenheit. So here we go. So this monster of a grill, you hear it going. It's getting the temperature back up after we put this chicken in. And I uh, can't wait for it to uh, be done. It's gonna be delicious. Probably gonna smoke this in here for at least an hour and a half, probably up to three hours, depending on how long it takes to get to 165 on the inside. When we're checking in on the chicken. It's been about an hour and a half and we're gonna, just gonna check the temperature, see how it looks. Oh yeah, so we're gonna put in our thermometer. We're looking for 165 on our meat. We're also gonna baste it again. All right guys, so we're at about 155 just about. We're almost there, it's creeping up. So not much longer, maybe another half hour, we'll check it again. But for now, what I'm gonna do is uh, Put the rest of our excess marinade on there just to kind of give it a little extra flavor. All right, guys, so the chicken is done, it looks delicious, smells good. We're gonna cut it up and see what it's like. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and just chop it up here. Look at the inside, make sure that it's cooked to perfection. Look at that right there, that looks delicious. All right, so we're gonna have a little bit of taste test just to see how this is going. Mm. Very good. Definitely done. Still juicy. And a lot of flavor. You can taste all those peppers in there. So we're gonna enjoy this. I encourage you to try this recipe. Even if you don't have a smoker, you could use an oven and kind of follow uh, the guidelines for using the oven. So until next time, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you at the next video.